Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of vectors. And we are taking this question from year 2023 of JEE mains. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here in terms of vectors, we have been told that S is the set of all lambda and mu for which the vectors which are given to us, the vectors are lambda i minus j cap plus k cap. The other vector is i plus 2j cap plus mu k cap. And the third vector given to us is 3i minus 4j plus 5k. So 3i minus 4j and plus 5k. So these are the three vectors which are given to us and we have been told that these vectors are coplanar. And S is a set of all the values of lambda and mu, which has this condition that three vectors are coplanar. And we have been also given a one more condition that says lambda minus mu is equal to mu. So this is your another condition in terms of lambda and mu. And we have been asked to find sum of lambda and mu which belong to this set sum of all the values of lambda and mu with the expression a t into lambda squared. So we need to find sum of a t into lambda square plus mu square for all the values of lambda and mu that belong to the set S L3 vector. So let's first find this value and the options that are given to us here in terms of the answers are 2370 to Third option given is 2210 and the last option given here is So we need to figure out which one of the following four options is the correct one also. Let's first see. We know that whenever the vectors are coplanar, the scalar triple product of the three vectors is equal to zero. Scalar triple product, if I write in terms of this, it is nothing but box product of the vectors A, B and C, which is equal to zero, where A, B and C are the three vectors. This is your vector A, this is your vector B, and this is your vector C. So the scalar triple product or the box product of these three vectors is equal to zero. That also I can write that as vector A with the dot product of cross product of B and C is equal to zero. So first let's find the cross product of B and C. So cross product of B and C vector if I want to find out. That is given by i, j, k. In the vector b, the coefficients I have here is 1, 2, and 3. And for c vector, it is given 3 minus. This gives us i cap. Here I get this 10 minus of minus, so plus 4 mu, plus j cap. Or if I find the de determinant, the middle should be a sub minus sign. So minus j cap, you get 5 minus 3 mu and plus k cap, you have this as minus 4 and minus 3 into 2 is minus 6, so minus 10. So you get this 10 plus 4 mu i cap minus j 5 minus 3 mu and plus k cap. Now, once we have this entire vector with us, if I just find the dot product of vector A with this cross product. So dot product I am finding out with the cross product of B and C. So the A vector which I have here in this case is lambda I cap minus J cap plus K cap. This is in dot product with the another vector which is given to us. 10 plus 4 mu. i cap minus j into 5 minus 3 mu minus 10 k cap. 
Now, if I take the dot product here, I can just multiply the coefficients of i cap here. So lambda gets multiplied with tan plus o mu. Then I get here minus into minus so plus one into five minus the mu and plus into minus so minus ten into one so that is minus ten. So we get this entire cross product, uh, sorry box product. And when I get this box product, I know already that the scalar triple product is equal to zero when the three vectors are coplanar to each other. So if I just write this lambda into ten plus four mu plus five minus three mu minus ten, that is all equal to zero. So this entire equation is equal to zero. We already know one more equation that tells us lambda minus mu is equal to five. Now once I have lambda minus mu is equal to five. Lambda becomes equal to mu plus. So if I put this value of lambda as mu plus five in this equation, let's see what we get. So I get here mu plus five, ten plus four mu, plus five and minus ten, so minus five minus three mu. From here I get this ten mu plus four mu square plus Ten mu plus four mu square plus five into ten fifty plus twenty minus five minus equals zero. So from here I get this four mu square plus ten plus twenty thirty thirty minus three you get twenty seven twenty seven mu and fifty minus five that is forty. Equal to zero. Now if I try to split and solve this quadratic equation by splitting the middle term. I have 45 into 4, that is 180. So I need the product of two terms to become 180, and that comes when it is 15 into 12. So 15 plus 12 also gives you 27. If I just solve this idea, I get this 4 mu square plus 15 mu plus 12 mu plus 45 is equal to zero. Now here, if I solve this, mu common mu plus 15 plus here, if I see 3 common. Mu plus. From here, I get two values of mu. One is mu plus three is equal to zero, and the other is four mu plus fifteen. So from here, when I split this two, I get the values of mu from the two cases. That is minus three. From here, I get the value of mu. So I get these two values of mu. Now, once I have these two values of mu, if I just find the value of lambda here, lambda it is told to me that it is mu plus five. So if I just use the idea to find the value of lambda, lambda we know. So the value of lambda from this case I get it as minus three and plus five, that is plus two. From here I get this minus fifteen by four plus five. So minus 15 plus 20, so 5 by 4 is the value. So we get two values of lambda again. Now we have been told that you need to find sum of 80 lambda square plus mu square for all the values of lambda and mu which belong to the set. So if I write that, I have two cases here. One is 80 into when 1 lambda is 2, mu is minus 3. So lambda square plus minus three square and plus the second case 80 into again lambda square is five by four square and mu is given to us as minus 15 by four. So if I solve this expression, I get 80, four plus nine plus 25 by 16 plus this becomes 225 by 16. So that gives you 80, 4 plus 9, 13, and this becomes 250 by 16. If I try to cancel it, 125 by 8. So 13 into 8, that gives me 104. 104 plus 125, 229 upon 8. So one's a Ends up from here, I get 2290. So 2290 is the answer for the question which is asked to us that is 
sum of 80 into lambda square plus mu square for all the values of lambda and mu which belong to set S that comes out to become option D here. So get the correct answer for all the questions that is option D. So D is the correct answer for the question which is given. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the vectors being coplanar. So we just use the idea of scalar triple product. Once we got the equation in terms of lambda and mu here, we just found out. Once we got this equation of lambda and mu here, we just substituted lambda as mu plus 5 and we got the quadratic equation turning in terms of mu. After just splitting the middle term, we got two values of mu with two values of mu. I got two values of mu. Once I got all of that, I just used that in the entire expression to find this, which is asked to us, and I got the answer of that is option D. I hope you have understood this. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other questions from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE means as well as the questions of 11 to 12. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends who are also involved in this preparation journey of JWE. Thank you.